Welcome back to Haven Park. We are up here at the old castle campsite, or very close to it, and we found this cannon pointed in the direction of Pilgrim's Peak. And I want to know... Oh, oh, oh. Press X to enter. <laughs> yep, yeah, lovely, lovely. Number 18. Okay, we're at Pilgrim's Peak after a, a very exciting ride. And it's quite barren up here, but there is a certain amount of loot to be had. I think in terms of progression, we are, we've are we got to be getting close to the end of the game now. There aren't many more skills left to purchase. The map is it's filling out. It's definitely filling out. But what is there to do around here? This looks interesting. What's this over to the left? Is there a quest to be had here? I can fix a sign and read it. Sealed entrance, hazardous area. Keep out. This must be so cool to explore. Oh, I'm going in. This is pretty cool. What is this? Is this what they were extracting here? Wait a second. Grandma used to talk about this mine. Ah, I can't remember. Let's do some uh, gathering of resources. Some mushrooms here. More of this stuff. I remember a lullaby grandma used to sing me. What were the lyrics? Something like, Mountains stop crying. The greedy ones are leaving. It is now time to rest. Sleep tight, little mountain. You will shine again. Perhaps tomorrow someone wise will find your stolen heart. Yes, that's it. The heart of the mountain. It was stolen by the miners. Poor mountain. I'll find your heart. We have a quest to find the heart of the mountain. Beautiful. There's some shrooms here. Um, collect these metals that are in the way. No trespassing. Stop. Okay, I won't go that way then. What's here? A lantern and a note. I must protect. I am the guardian. To protect her is my mission. Now that's cryptic. I feel like there was... Oh, yeah, there's a coin to collect there. All right, I think I need to go up this area where I was told not to trespass. Nothing to see here. Stop. I'm going over. Stop. Leave me alone. Okay. Managed to glitch over there. Good. Gonna take that bucket. to knock. Hello? Is somebody there? Somebody here? Knock, knock. Mm, nobody. Interesting. Alright, let's try going one of the other ways through these mines. I think we hadn't gone up to the north here. A few more glowing mushrooms. Another lantern. Right, let's take the top path for now. Oh, it's a maze. If there are any more junctions, I'm going to run out of ability to keep track. Okay. Evidence of miners here, but nothing else I can interact with. Okay. I'm using the kind of the follow the left hand wall method now. There we go, another lit bit. the coin. And what's this? A, a wrecked boat? Seeing something over to the left there, but that's presumably down another another angle of approach. Okay. These mines do seem to have a lot of various little corners to explore. But not much not much to actually find there. Okay, I haven't gone down this path here yet. Oh, hello. Oh, hey. Who are you? I'm the wagon operator. What do you do? I operate the wagon. I mean, what do you do here? I work here. But the mine was abandoned years ago. Um, what? You're the only one left here. Seriously? Man, they never tell me anything. 
That explains why their lunch break was taking so long. Anyway, can I use this wagon? Sure, but I think it needs some oil. The wheels are rusty. Probably some lying around here somewhere. Fix the wagon in the mine. Okay. Oil. Where might I find oil? So I'm presuming not going to be able to get through there until I've found the oil. So I guess I need to backtrack and maybe one of those previous areas I was in had some oil I could pick up. Guess we need to try them all. Let's try this way first. I mean, there was the boat down here, but uh, maybe there's some oil we can harvest from the boat. Okay. No, no interactable item there. Let's try a different path. Oh, that's an oil can. Got it. I do have to admit, I find it slightly, slightly irksome in games that you need to pick up the quest before you can pick up the oil. You know, I feel like I should have been allowed to pick up that oil can. You know, similar to how I got the gem before I knew I needed the gem. I should have been able to pick up that oil can before. I found an oil can. That'll do it. Let me fix that. You have completed the quest to fix the wagon in the mine. Done. You can hop in the wagon now. Thanks. Let's do that. Press A to move forwards. I'm doing it. And the doors open. Okay, nothing here to pick up. Let's just keep moving through. Keeping my eye out for reasons why I might want to pause for a second. Oh my goodness, this is precarious. Did not realize there was gonna be this entire world under here. Where are we gonna end up next? Is this wagon journey nearly at its end? Seems like it is. Okay, there's some mushrooms down here. And anything else down here? I can go through here. There's various pieces of loot here. Oh, I can play a guitar. I can salvage a bucket. Yeah, that seems to be everything down here. Was there anywhere else to look around here? I think we're still looking for the heart of the mountain. Let's check the the quests. Find the heart of the... yes. Lots of broken tracks up ahead. Okay. And this little foreground is suggesting I might want to get up there. Okay, I wonder if there's some... Maybe I need to be repairing some of these minecart tracks. Let's try going back up to where we were here. Oh, I see something interesting to the left there. Okay, so that's where the cart ended. So yeah, I think this is the way I was supposed to go. Pew. Okay, only one way to go through here. And then it forks. Okay, let's try up first, because I think that down is going to be the right way to go. So let's, you know, as always, explore first the way you think that you're not supposed to go, because otherwise you miss things. All right, let's try down here to the left. Bit of intrepid intrepidery. Okay, so there's more carts now. We have two options. Let's try this way first. Oh, no. Okay, that didn't go too well. I mean, I'm assuming that repairing this bridge was not an option. No, nah, definitely not. Okay. Glad we didn't fall off the end. That would have been awkward. Oh, okay, can't go back through there. Right, okay, so I need to go... Hudaba! Okay, not like that. Obviously, the magic word Hudaba was not the incantation that was required to make things work well here. All right, manual jog all the way back. And this time, we'll take the other minecart. Here we go. Uh, is this area worth exploring? Oh, there's a couple of girders in the corner there. Hopefully this will go a bit better. Oh, zoomy. Oh, the barrel. Uh, I want to just 
yeah, just stop here. Oh, doesn't seem to be a way to jump out of the cart before the end. Fine. I was planning on stopping to pick up the contents of that barrel. Yeah, there's one barrel. Likewise, that wood's there. I feel like that should be gatherable. This is quite the exciting roller coaster ride here. Oh, a coin. I want to get that coin. Got it. Carefully make our way up here. And it looks like this is the way. Um, down or across. Let's try staying high for now. Yeah, because it looks like down takes us to an area we've already been to. But I don't see how I can get across there. So I guess it's I guess it's got to be down. I mean, I'm hoping that I am now in an area that I haven't been to before. Oh, is that a bit of pick up there? No? Okay. What else is in this area? They make a pretty sound, don't they? And now I can't see anything. Okay, that was a bad idea. Let's backtrack. Okay, yeah, I didn't want to be in that corner. Nothing good came out of it. I feel like I want to be higher. Um, oh, can I get across here, maybe? Uh, is this a dead end? That's a dead end. I want to be across there. But I don't know how that I will achieve that. Is this... Oh. Oh, we have a crane. Okay, so that looks like that's what we need. I think that's what I want to do. I was definitely experimenting a bit with the um, the controls there, but it's looking quite promising. I was not expecting this this little mine area to be in this game. It's come as quite a surprise. I'm sure I'm on the right track now, though. Okay, we've got another crane here. So what am I trying to do with this? Maybe do I want to get across to there? I'm not sure. Oh, can't get across to there. Oh, back around we go. I've, I've sort of lost track of where I'm going with this now, which makes things slightly difficult. I don't know where my target is, which makes it sort of hard to figure out what I need to set up in order to achieve a target. So this thing was too low, so let's just start by bringing that up a bit. Still too low. Ah, one more time around. Okay, let's operate the crane. Uh, it needs to be higher, didn't it, actually? I think that might be good enough. Oh, no. Whoa. There we go, we did it. Okay, now we've got another crane, which I guess we now use to connect up this little path here. Okay. Is that the right height? I don't know. Let's try it. That feels quite low now. Oh, we made it. Hurrah. Okay, where to next? What have we got? Let's explore these areas. Oh my goodness. Oh, and I could collect those girders. I feel like... Is this it? Is this the heart of the mountain? What is that? It looks like a piece of it is missing. Okay, do we need to find a thing? There's a path up here. Let's try this. Okay, this is a door that we can't get through from this side. What's up here? Does this come to anything or is it just dead end? Oh, hello. Stranger, stop. Hello. Who are you? I'm Talia, the guardian of the mountain, and I command you to leave, greedy miner. What? I'm not a miner. Oh, they are all gone. The mine was abandoned. I'm here to find the heart of the mountain. 
Do you know where it is? I put it behind this passage years ago, safe from all those people trying to steal it. But unfortunately, the spirit of the mountain has condemned the access. Even I can't reach it anymore. Only someone smart and wise will be able to enter. I see. By the way, I love your mask. Oh, thanks. I made it all by myself. So, smart and wise to be able to enter. Does that mean I have to get leveled up to max to get through that? Or or maybe it's something else. I don't know. There was another way down here that I didn't go yet. Let's check that out. Okay, that's just a, a helmet that I can't interact with. I can only pew, pew, pew. Listen and watch carefully. The stones hold the answer. So I wonder if there's something else I need to do that teaches me a tune. I wonder if there's a tune I need to learn somewhere so that I can then replicate it on those crystals. Maybe down here. Will this play me a tune? That's the same message. Was there a tune in the background there? Yeah, that is playing the tune. So I just need to play that tune on the four stones. So I think it's this order. Oh, got that slightly wrong. Oh, yeah, something's happening. What do you think of that? You did it. You're worthy to take care of the mountain. Oh, is this the heart? No, it's merely a coin. Okay. This could be the heart. The heart of the mountain. I found it. It's so shiny. Let's find out where to put it. I think I know where to put it. Let's take it back to that deep area. Slot it in the middle. And then, well, who knows what happens next. So, I guess this is where the heart of the mountain is supposed to go. Okay, let's fix you, mountain. You've been waiting too long for this. Wow, it's beautiful. You did well, stranger. Because of your kindness, the mountain now breathes again. Accept these coins as a token of gratitude. Now be on your way. Plus 100 coin. Wow. New building available in the workshop. Crystals. Fun times. I've got to say, it feels like I've been playing quite a different game for this episode. It's a bit of a departure. Have you got anything to say? You saved the mountain. Yeah, I'm pretty cool, I am. And this cart presumably takes us back to the exit rather than forcing us to traipse our way all the way back through the mountain. I, I want to I get out and get loot game won't let me get out and get loot. You're about to exit the mine. Thank you. And we just pop out here. Okay. What a very strange experience. I'm not really sure where I am in this northwest corner of the map now. Um, let's head down here. Is there possibly a campsite down on the beach? There is not a campsite on the beach. Okay. I kind of want to find a 
a campsite to give me some kind of sense of bearings. Uh, some loot down here. Uh, but I've done that thing now where I've jumped off a mountain. Oh, hello. Oh, we're at a toll. Okay. So I very much just jumped off a mountain. And I'm probably not going to be able to get back up there very easily. Okay, well, I mean, I've got a lot of coins. So I haven't got much wood. But maybe what I'm going to do here uh, is meet this camper. Do you like the park? It's quite nice, except for the beige. I got stung in the face. Oh, are you allergic? No, it's okay. I just wanted to be friends with them. Are you happy? Is there money in here? There is. So we're doing okay for coins. I feel like what we need to do is it's time to really resource up in a big way. I think after that last episode where... Well, the, the, this episode we've just had where I was in the mines doing all sorts of weirdness. I think perhaps for the next episode, it is maybe time to go back and give some attention to our previous campsites. So I'm going to go to the marketplace. And it looks like all the loot has respawned. That's pretty good. Here is where the marketplace is. This is a very good place to start. I can buy lots and lots of resources and make things happen. So the first thing is here, these bungalows, are they too big? You know, are they taking up too much space? Maybe not, but still, I, th I think we can perhaps um, just change some of the placement of, of these items. What do I want to do? I, I, kind of, I want to bring the, the little food stalls over here next to the marketplace. And in fact, maybe I want to move the marketplace as well. Let's try that. So let's bring this marketplace down here. And these barrels are annoying. There's not much I can do about them. Okay, maybe we need to move the marketplace even more drastically than that. Maybe if I place the marketplace up here, roughly where this radio is. So the radio is going to go. Wait for the campus to leave this building. Oh, okay, I can't move the radio while he's enjoying the radio. Can I move the radio now? Okay, there we go. We've got it. So let's just place that radio. And let's move the marketplace up to here-ish. There we go. And then the pergola... We can get that positioned nicely there. And then just move it in a bit. really want to get the position of this just perfect. That'll do me. Okay, so now the marketplace is up there. And I'm going to move the pool over to the left. I feel like I might be able to squeeze this just in here next to this tree somewhere. Um, it's kind of... It's getting a little bit confused with the barrels, but I think it'll still work. Okay, we'll collect the coins from that. Come on, let me move this. And so, let's have a little food food area just over here. That seems nice. On the beach. The brolly... I don't want to put that over the campfire. That seems dangerous. I should pop it here for a little while. Collect those coins. Maybe put the two food stalls next to each other. You say you're hungry. Well, there's plenty of food to be had around here. And then this torch. I want to move that a bit. I think if I place, place the torch on the sand, I think we can now pack some of these little bungalow things nicely in under these trees. Let's, um, yeah, let's bring one of the other ones over because I've never really liked how this one has its, its kind of its back to us. You're sat there enjoying the radio, are you? Okay. So let's get this rotated to about that angle and then manoeuvre it in here next to the marketplace. 
and then we can just move this beach umbrella so it's just a bit more on the on the beach here. Uh, I mean, up here there's a really nice spot. That'll do. Okay, so let's just make sure we've got all the coins. And now, with 184 coins in the bank, just move this radio over here. I think we should buy a lot of resources. We've got a bigger inventory than we used to. So, fabric and mushrooms, I think we've got plenty of. In fact, we could probably sell up some of these mushrooms. Can't see myself needing more than 10 of them. And then let's really stock up on wood in a big way. We can carry a lot of stuff in our inventory these days, can't we? Okay, I feel like that's probably enough resources for a little while. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back and visit all of the rest of the campsites and just, just give them a little bit of a, a work over, make them, so, make them a little, little bit prettier. But here is where I'm going to end this episode for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll join me next time for more Haven Park. Goodbye.